Hello everyone, welcome to the AMC Tech video series. This is the Bruca Tensor 27 FTIR machine, equipped with an R source, an interferometer and a detector. It operates in two main modes, transmittance and reflectance. To begin, we need to load a sample compartment. There are two types available, the transmission compartment and the attenuated total reflectance ATR compartment, or simply ATR compartment. First, we'll install the transmission compartment. Here you can see the beam path through the standard sample compartment where A is the IR source, B the aperture wheel, C the filter wheel, D the IR beam outlet port, E is the beam splitter, F the switch mirror, G the sample compartment window, H is the sample and I is the detector. This is the ATR compartment which we'll use later in the demonstration. To operate the Bruca Tensor 27 we use Opus spectroscopy software. Here we set essential measurement parameters such as scan mode, resolution, scan range and the number of scans. For this first measurement we'll select transmittance mode. This is the sample holder which fits into the standard transmission compartment. Before loading a sample we must perform a background measurement. So we mount the sample holder into the compartment without a sample, close the compartment cover and initiate the background scan. With the background scan finished, we're now ready to load our sample. For this demonstration, we'll be using a polyethylene sample. Once we close the sample compartment cover, we can run the sample measurement. When the measurement is complete, the software generates a spectrum for analysis. The software also includes an atmospheric compensation feature which minimizes the effects of atmospheric gases such as carbon dioxide and water vapor on the spectra. This feature allows for clearer results without the need to purge the instrument with dry air or nitrogen. For further analysis, we can label peaks on the spectrum using the peak picking function. Simply select start interactive mode and mark the peaks of interest. Now let's switch to the ATR compartment. We'll analyze the same polyethylene sample, this time using ATR mode. Just as before, we'll select the appropriate measurement parameters for ATR mode and start with a background measurement. Once that's complete, we can load the sample and proceed with the measurement. When the ATR measurement is finished, we'll have a new spectrum which we compare with the spectrum obtained in transmittance mode to observe any differences. This concludes our demonstration of the Bruca Tensor 27 FTIR machine. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more insights in the AMC Tech video series.